The National Library has a vast collection of resources varying from newspapers to photographs to manuscripts and, and, and books obviously. But what, what we've done is we've, we've packaged these materials in a particular way so that the, the tutor that's leading the homeschooling group can actually download some material, get some background information and that they can actually teach using the materials from our websites. For example, with the Second World War pack, we've got a, a huge collection of photographs by a photographer named Jeff Charles. Um, he uh, chronicled the history of Wales during the Second World War. These are online. We've packaged them in a particular way that they use digital, uh, that they're used in digital stories where people who lived through the, that period talk about their experiences and we've got um, Jeff Charles photographs there. We've got flash exercises where they interact with the photographs themselves and there are download, downloadable packs as well for them to use for extended research as well. There, there is no subscription for the, for the material that we place online. It's all freely accessible and available to all people who want to use to use these websites. There are literally thousands of homeschooling families in Wales and um, one of our challenges is to get the information out there that this material is available for them. So some of the ways we do this is to actually bring groups here and to show them the collection and to show them what digital materials are available for them and where this would fit in with their teaching and w where it obviously fits in with the curriculum that they're following as homeschooling groups. Well, the online resources for Aberystwyth National Library have been a real godsend for us because being a home educator, my children have used them for a variety of topics. What I really like about it is the website's very easy to use and I find it's um, perfect for my children's age. Uh, my son's 11 and my daughter's 14, so they can use it to answer relevant questions. As I say, they're developing their own study skills and research skills and they're learning how to do these things for themselves. What's important with these is that we do try to, to provide uh, the resources in a way that they lead to a, a, a learning outcome, a particular learning outcome. And that makes them useful not just for homeschoolers, but for teachers and parents and young people that might come to this website as well.